on how to make minion cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita, welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I'm gonna share with you a throwback cookie. These minion cookies were some of the first ones that I shared on my blog at thecookiecouture.com around 2013 and these cookies are super easy to do and as you know Minus has been popular since the first and I am so glad that I was one of the first ones to come up with the idea on how to decorate those cookies okay I'm gonna leave you a link in the description box below so you can go and check them out because I and my apologies because when I was filming these videos by accident I erased one part of it so I have to come up with the creative idea on how to describe the first part of the cookie I hope that is clear for you and if you have any question please let me know okay so I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started You will think that what a baby bottle has to do with minions, but you will see how I'm going to use them to make them. For the first minions I made, I used this baby bottle cookie cutter. So you will see how to cut them and then how to decorate them. First, I am going to use this cookie cutter upside down and I'm going to cut. I'm going to flip my cookie cutter this way so this part can be about the same size and the same curve. Here I have this one and now for this one I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use it upside down. I'm going to bake them at 350 for 10 to 13 minutes. Very good. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the materials that I use to decorate this cookie, okay? First, I made my royal icing and I tinted some in yellow, in minion yellow. I will say, and I use equal parts of egg yellow from a Marie Color and neon bright yellow from chef master okay this is for the yellow and then for the blue i use royal blue from chef masters and for the black i use cold black from chef master and for the gray i put a little bit of the black icing into natural color icing okay to outline the minion i use a decorating tip number 1.5 with natural icing and then I use medium consistency icing in gray and I use a decorating tip number 2.5. I use a yellow edible marker from Chef Master that has the double point like this one and I use the food writers from Wilton Imbra because I love to use sticks to make my cookies. I use a skewer stick and I use the point part to make little dots and I use the flat part to make bigger dots, okay? So I'm going to explain you a little bit of what I did in the big minion with this little one because as I told you, I lost my videos, okay? So first I started to outline my design with uh, natural color icing and the decorating tip number 1.5 and then I cover all the body of the minion with the yellow icing that I prepared using equal parts of egg yellow and neon bright yellow and then I covered the little legs with royal blue floating consistency icing and the shoes with black Then with the same icing that I used to outline the cookie, I made the eyes and outlined the overall. Then I covered the overall with the same blue royal icing that I used for the pants. spatula you are just going to drag a little bit of this icing from here to make the strap now we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna continue doing the other part very 
very well our cookie is completely dry I'm gonna do some other details like the little pocket Then I'm going to use a 2.5 decorating tip to make the googles. And also I'm going to use the toothpick to put the little eye. also can do this with edible markers if you want to, it's easier. Using the back of your skewer stick, I'm going to use it to put the little straps. want your cookie to look more neat you can just cover all this with icing yellow edible marker like this one from Chef Masters and I'm just going to do a little that's here in yellow and then also I'm going to mark the little pocket here Here, this mini, mini, mini 